welcome to the first of many Type R Tuesdays. If I'm gonna upload a video of Black Diamond, my 2021 Honda Civic Type R, it will be on Tuesday evening. Big shout out to Hybrid Racing for sponsoring the video today. They were kind enough to send me their red short shifter, which you can also get in black, a red shift knob, which comes in many different colors, some cable bushings, and then I also asked them to send me a black boot collar. Links to everything will be down in the description. I gotta take the center console out. Let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. The first thing I need to do is I need to remove the shift knob. Then I need to remove this trim piece, this trim piece. Then I will remove this one and this one over here. To remove these, all you do is grab your fingers underneath and pull up. If you need to, grab a panel tool. I need to remove this screw, this screw, this screw here, and another one on the other side. to pull the shifter trim up, but be careful because there are plugs underneath. Then once you get it up, just disconnect all the harnesses. Next thing I need to do is I need to take the climate control and take it off. So you just take your fingers underneath, just pull very gently until it pops out. And then we're just gonna disconnect all the harnesses. I need to remove these two screws, one here and one here. I have to remove this screw right here. Next, I need to pull this piece up and get it out of there. In fact, let me put it in fourth gear. Make it easier to get out. Go. I need to remove this back piece right here. There is a little groove right here that you can get a panel tool or a little screwdriver underneath. Now we are gonna have to remove two harnesses, one for the power outlet and one for the USB. Now we're at the back of the car. Make sure to move both front seats forward because we need to remove this trim right here. Grab your panel tool if you need to. I have to remove this harness right here for the keyless entry. And then it is clipped in to the center console right here and we have to remove that also. There we go. Now back to the front. Now I gotta remove this tray and the cup holder. And I need to lift this out because I need to get to those. There's two Phillips screws, take them out. So it looks like I need to remove this one right here, this one here, and then one up here, plus another plug. Because I'm not sure if that's one piece, because when I try to pull it out, it kind of yanks on it, and I don't want to do that. So let me unhook this. Oh, it's the light. 
So you gotta unhook your light. Now I think we can start lifting this out of here, but we gotta be careful because we're gonna have a plug underneath for this right here. So I'm gonna have to go to the back again. See if I can show you here. It's actually tucked up way up underneath here. Just pull it out. Now we should be able to take this out. Actually, we're gonna have to disconnect some more wires in here. Well, not disconnect wires, but tabs. Tabs that are mounted into the console itself. Now before I remove the shifter, let's mess with it one more time just to see how it is. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, reverse. You know, it's not horrible, but I think it's gonna be much better. Next thing I gotta do is I gotta remove this plate, Phillips screwdriver, remove these two. Well, that's great, I already stripped them. <laughs> that was easy. So I'm gonna use an eight millimeter instead. And now we can do the 10 mils here, 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 which that one might be tough. Take this clip off to get to the last bolt. Almost missed this one. I gotta remove this clip right here. There we go. These are probably the hardest thing of this whole install is getting these out. So what I need to do next is I need to pull this pin and then slide the cable off of the pin. There we go. Do not lose this. Whatever you do, do not lose this. So then that should just slide right off like that. And then we turn this. Actually, let's get this other one done first. Is just slide these two apart. It should come off the ball. There we go. And that be that. Now we should just have to turn this to get this off of here. Hmm. She don't wanna come out. I'm gonna do my best to show you guys this. Up in here, there is a tab that goes right through this hole right here. You have to push that tab in and then all but do a 180 turn to pull it out. Same goes for this one. There's a tab, you gotta do a 180 turn and then you can pull it out. Now I should just be able to grab it Pull it out. Now that the shifter is out of the car, we can throw the new shifter in. But before we do that, I got a couple things I wanna go over with you first. They also supplied us with a bag, four five millimeter Allen bolts and washers. It also comes with two clips. Unless you have an aftermarket shift cable, you don't need to use those clips. They also sent us a softer spring. Now, if you wanna change it out, you can undo these four Allen bolts, take the other one out, put this one in, do the Allen bolts and you're good to go. Now you can do that while it's in the car. So if you wanna change it out later, you can. The one inside is a little stiffer. This one is a little softer. We're gonna roll with the stiffer one for now. If I feel like I need to swap it out later, I will. There are two adjustments for each cable. The number one adjustment is only 5% shorter than stock. The number two adjustment is 25% shorter than stock. And obviously that's the route we're gonna go. We're gonna go with number two. Up here is the serial number if you ever need it. I'm gonna get this bad boy installed. I'm gonna bolt it down, get everything primarily hooked up except for one thing. The short shifter is installed and I'm not gonna lie, it was a pain in the butt to get in. Big reason being right here, that grommet right there that the cables go through, 
you have to push the cable wires through that. Now, what ended up happening with me was I ended up pushing it and the grommet went down through the floor. I had to get the grommet back out. It was a pain in the butt. So be very careful when you're doing that. Everything is hooked up. The only difference is with these, the bottom cable. Now, this one is a little different than the stock one. The stock one went up. This one goes to the right. I don't know if you can see that there, but that was pretty interesting too. To get these both back in, you don't have to push any tabs, but you do have to turn it with that 180, get it in there, and then it'll spin its way back around. Then when you're done, just install that clip. Make sure everything is tight. Let me go through the gears with you real quick. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Fifth and sixth, I might take a little bit of getting used to, but now I'm gonna put the center console in and then I will adjust anything right here if I need to. They sent me a shift collar, comes in three pieces. What we need to do first is we need to take these two pieces apart. We need to fold the boot inside out. Then we need to take this piece, push it up in here. And we primarily want it to look like that. Then we're gonna take the band, we're gonna wrap it around the outside to hold it. Now the factory one comes with a little zip tie like this. You're not gonna be able to use that. And what we'll do is we'll put it on the shifter. Well actually we need to feather it back up through now. Then we're gonna take it, we're gonna slide this down over top, this all lined up. We're gonna drop this, we're gonna spin this on there. Push the boot down a little bit. There we go. And we can take our shift knob. Now all I have to do is put the outer trim on and we're good to go. I got the black boot collar on, I got the shift knob on. It's time to take it for a test drive. All right, let's test this shifter out. Feels good. Feels real good. Now that top section, that I put the knob on, you can actually spin that so the shifter could be up here further or in the middle further. I actually preferred it back the whole way. That way I could have my arm on the armrest and still be able to shift in every gear. I really do. Now it's not crazy, it's only 25%, but that 25% is very noticeable. I recommend if you're gonna put it on any setting, go with the 25%. recommend it and you can get it for your 10th gen Civic it doesn't matter what kind of Civic you have it doesn't have to be a type R it can be an SI a touring it doesn't matter
The boot collar looks good. The shifter knob looks great. Now, it's going to be cold in the winter, and it's going to be hot in the summer, so I'm going to have to get me a little hoodie or something, but that won't be a problem. It is a new dawn, it is a new day. I got my hair cut, black diamond got ceramic waxed. I took the PRL intake out just to find out that I'm gonna have to remove the battery, the battery box, a charge pipe, just to even get to the cables to replace these bushings. And if I did that in this video, it would make it about 30 to 40 minutes long and I don't really wanna do that. I'm gonna make it its own video. So in the next Type R Tuesday, I'm gonna be replacing the cable bushings on the Type R. And a big thank you to Hybrid Racing for sponsoring today's video and it's looking like they're gonna be sponsoring the next Type R Tuesday.